What I really like about BSI is that it allows young researchers and professional researchers to connect um, globally because of the convenience of it being a virtual conference. BSI has really been ahead of its time with this virtual science and society conference, um, an incredible way to hear from the rest of the world and the contributions that they're making to science. I've already got to meet so many people across the world and it's really just exciting. Hey, good morning, good afternoon everyone and thank you very much for organizing committee for this kind invitation to join this exciting international conference. Um, I'm thrilled to be able to share some of our work from newly diagnosed Egyptian breast cancer patients liquid biopsy by sharing a tale of a promising diagnostic molecular biomarker. In our lab, we focus on catepsin B, which is a cysteine protease that's located in the gut of the cystosomula and adult worms, and it's a digestive enzyme used to degrade host blood macromolecules. So there are a number of other emerging uh, uh, parts of the evidence base which point to an important uh, dysregulation uh, of interferon in COVID-19. I'm quickly showing you some, some raw data. This is a two tissue microarray course. On the left hand, we can see a responder post-treatment and on the right hand, a non-responder post-treatment. And as it goes through the different cycles, you can see the different markers, how they are expressed in the tissue. What I enjoyed about the conference last year was the career development sessions. It was a great opportunity to share ideas with people from different parts of the world on how to use science to impact the society. Through it today, but it takes about 20 minutes for you to fill out your skills assessments, your values assessments, and your interest assessments, and then go and, and how to find the mentors in the field you want to go to and how to develop those skills uh, with what, what I call mentor-driven mentorship. In addition to the conference's scientific talks, we welcome the submission of hot dog presentations, short five, 10 minute documentaries engaging with important social issues, highlighting innovative outreach initiatives, and exploring the cultures in which scientists around the world perform their work. Notable hot dogs from previous years have documented the unique hardships facing the residents of Kakuma refugee camp, have showcased novel approaches to oncology training and patient care in rural Kenya, and have surveyed the conditions facing the vulnerable populations of Brazil during the COVID-19 pandemic. BSI is a great conference with uh, interesting talks and inspiring speakers from all over the globe. Beyond this, it is uh, a platform which has forced a culture of effective digital and remote communication way long before the COVID-19 pandemic has made so a necessity. The BSI has achieved to bring down the barriers of distance and finance for researchers from all over the globe and bring them together in a meeting but also in a chance to discuss their ventures and uh, even form coalitions and collaborations for the future. As uh, a member of the organizing committee for the 2022 edition, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to the very interesting uh, talks and projects that will be presented in the conference. I do encourage you to register, submit an abstract and uh, join us in February 2022. If you're someone that cares about science, this is for you. I'm especially inviting you for this edition of Beyond Science Initiative Conference. See you there.